Scalpel has had me up since 5.30 this morning. It's nearly 6 o'clock. I've been petting her belly for like 30 minutes now. I'm drained. I want to clock off. I'm clocking out, little girly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at her. Chilling on my pillow. She doesn't even care. So mean. So rude. up at 5.30. And welcome back to The Rachel Show. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. Scout is just determined to have me up early. I wish her body would adjust to the time change. But quite honestly, 5.30 is probably a good time to get up for when I start working in a couple weeks um, because I want to have time to make and eat my breakfast at home. I used to like prep my breakfast and then bring it to the office or cook it and then bring it to the office and eat. And I just um, would much rather have my breakfast at home. Um, but we'll see because I'll have to be there at 8. So, thank goodness I don't have to dress up. So, quite frankly, probably will be like no makeup. Don't care what my hair looks like. If it's dirty, I'll pull it back. If it's not dirty, I'll wear it down. But until I can like fully adjust and figure out what time that I actually need to wake up. Um, but I might get in the habit of cooking my breakfast and eating at the office i just would rather have all of that eat it at home chill out drive down to the office and go to work but i also don't want to have to feel like i need to wake up at like 5 or 5 30 or i mean 5 30 is not too bad but like i don't want to wake up at like five i'd rather sweet sleep a couple extra minutes and eat my breakfast at work so we shall see how the, all of this goes. Because Scout likes her hour long walks in the morning and since I'll be at the office pretty much all day since it's almost 30 minutes there and 30 minutes back without any traffic, I won't be able to come home for lunch because that's my entire lunch break right there. So I would love to get her on an hour long walk before the workday starts. Um, and then obviously a nice hour long walk after the work day. We shall see how all of this adjusts and how we scout and I adjust to this new schedule in a few weeks. Let's just say someone wasn't ready to go outside. So we went back to bed. It is now 8.14. Oh, are you ready? Do you want to get your harness on? Let's see. Earlier she was nip it at me she didn't want a harness on Ooh, you want it on good job oh i feel so good to have gone back to bed mommy has been tired after all these interviews and stress i love you let's go outside okay See your little leash on. Good job, pumpkin. Also, making me pet your belly first thing in the morning. That's the last thing I want to do, okay? That's not how I want to wake up. Boop. I love you. Yes. Mommy, a little pumpkin, baby. you outside no someone sees a doggy all the way over there <clears throat> on the agenda today is figure out more about this offer um signed my offer letter last night and i wanted to try to request off a couple of days 
early on in December because my daughter will be here. I've um, already booked her fl flight to come down for her birthday. And I want to try to take the 5th off, which is her actual birthday, and then the 6th just to recover from whatever we decided to do on the 5th. And so I'm waiting to hear back if I'm going to be able to get those tapes off. Um, and then obviously I'm waiting for the background information, like email, to be sent to me so I can start doing my background check. So I have two interviews still scheduled. One for today at 2. It's a video one. And then the one tomorrow at 9.30 and that's in the office about 20-30 minutes away. And I had ChatGPT like draft me up some really good emails to send to them, like thanking them for the interview, you know, their time and all things, but I've accepted another opportunity. But then I started thinking like, what if something goes wrong and I'm left without a job? So I'm going, instead of sending those emails out, I'm going to go to these interviews, unfortunately. Um, not, I don't feel like I have anything to worry about with the background check or anything, but you never know what could go wrong. And until I get confirmation about the days off and, you know, everything, just like, I just want to see these other ones through because God forbid something happens. And I've already said no to these two companies that I have interviews with. So... We're going to rock and kill our interview today. We're going to rock and kill our interview tomorrow. And hopefully, I'm hoping sometime today I'll get the email to start my background check. And I can start on all of that. Um, and that will take, I think it said like one to four business days to get like a decision. And of course, it said if that's not favorable, then they can rescind their offer. So I don't know. I'm just a little nervous, and why not have a backup plan in case something falls through? Something shouldn't fall through. I've never had a problem getting a job and a background check and everything. But I'm just a what if kind of girl, and I already have these other opportunities on the table. So as much as I would love to cancel them and chill and not have to worry about them, I feel like it might be best that I see them through just in case. So, we're going to have to prep for our interview today. It's 1014. Our interview is, I want to say, I believe it's at 2 today, and the other one tomorrow is at 930. The other one. Okay, yes, it's at 2 p.m. today. The other one's at 9.30 tomorrow, so I'll start prepping in a little bit. I'm tired. I'm just, I feel like the stress of having to look for jobs and everything is kind of gone now that I have an offer that I've accepted. So I feel like a lot of relief and I'm just a little tired from all the stress and I'm just like looking forward to just kind of chilling out today. Um, yeah, I don't know. I did kind of have other plans, but then when I started thinking about, I should probably do these interviews, um, back to new plans, but doing these interviews. And Scout's taking an app on me right now anyway. <laughs> I almost forgot to take my little juice shot that I had made. I took, I forgot to drink one yesterday until like, the night time. I kind of wanted to drink these with my breakfast just so I wouldn't forget, but look at me forgetting. At least I remembered. I've been switching between the carrot juice one day and the green juice the next day. And just on, off, on, off. I made a total of eight, so I think I have a, like three more left for the week. And I have some leftover ingredients to make some more next for next week. They're really good. I still think my favorite one is a carrot ginger turmeric one that I made. I do think this is good though. Mm. So I want to say, 
that I am really excited about my job. I think last night in my blog, I just felt so tired. I felt so tired and I still feel a little tired just cause like I was saying earlier, all the stress I've been under all the pressure I've been on it to do well in these interviews, to kill them because I need a job because I'm running out of money. And, um, yeah, so maybe it didn't come across so I'm very excited last night in my vlog. I don't know. But I am so freaking excited and I've been, like, thinking about all the things I want to buy with my paycheck. Of course, i got to pay my bills. But, like, I'm so excited to start furnishing my apartment. I want to buy like one thing at a time. I would try to get like a 0% interest credit card and do that way, but I just don't want to be in the situation where I'm in right now where I have two credit cards with like 16,000 or 15,000 of worth of debt between the two of them. And I want to pay those off. Like I want to pay those off. I want to try to be as debt free as possible for a while. I've also been thinking about the daily vlogs and I feel like I could make a way more entertaining, fun vlog if I vlog once a week. I like uploaded once a week, but vlog throughout the week. Um, so this may be my last um, week of vlogs every single day, but you guys let me know in the comments. If you guys like the daily vlogs, we can keep up with them. I just feel like Sometimes when I'm editing and whatnot, I'm kind of like, I'm tired today, I don't feel like doing it, you know? And I get that with social media, like if you're gonna take it on and you're gonna make it like your job, even if it's like a side hustle and you wanna upload and be consistent, like there's gonna be times that you're not gonna to wanna to do it, but if you're gonna stay consistent, you should. And I totally get that, but I'm trying to think about like, Quality wise, my vlogs every single day aren't always the best quality just because sometimes I'm so tired. Um, and I think it has a lot to do with all the pressure and stress I've been under. So I don't know, if you guys like the daily vlogs, let me know in the comments so we can keep up with them. But I've already had a suggestion to do like maybe twice a week. And I think even once a week would be fun. I also was kind of thinking I just saw a TikTok earlier this morning of a girl taking like some kind of light rail that we have in Florida, like some kind of train situation. Um, and she went from Orlando to Miami in like three hours. And I was like, oh my gosh, I could take so many like fun little weekend things. And so sometimes there might be like an extra vlog in there or just like a longer weekly vlog. I don't know, I'm just trying to I'm starting to think that now that we've gone through all the interview practice and prep and all of that, like switching to a weekly vlog might be really fun. Um, obviously, I'm going to keep it with my daily ASMR and figuring out what other stuff I want to throw into there. And I'm about to get my microphone today. So we're going to unbox a couple of Amazon packages that I have ordered and that are coming in. I'm so excited. I'm hoping that I have all the attachments that I'll need to like hook that mic up to my phone so we can have better sound just across the board in the vlogs, the ASMR, just across the board. So I'm kind of waiting for that to come in so that way I can redo some of the footage that I have already for this week. Like I did clean my bathroom the other day and I made a little video and I haven't edited it or put it up obviously it's not edited but i was kind of thinking about like re-cleaning my bathroom and stuff like that with my new microphone that i have today like i'm literally so excited y'all i'm so excited to have it for the vlogs like we're just gonna have better sound and i don't know what happened but a month or two ago i noticed that like my sound on my phone just it's like this when i'm editing it's way too hard to cut every little shot and make it all the same sound so i cannot wait to have this microphone i think it just clips to my to my phone but i really don't know it's kind of hard to understand all the descriptions and what i may or may not need and i may end up having to return it and get enough get something else that i saw i just didn't want to spend that kind of money but it's really not that much more extensive than what I just bought. So potentially I could return what I got and go get the new thing. 
but we're going to see. It's supposed to be here some di sometime today. Um, we have about an hour before our interview, and like I said, I'm still going through with at least this interview. It's a video interview that I can do at home. It's going to be 30 minutes. I can recycle all the information I used yesterday. Um, Katie Ann from HR did call me and said that she was sending like my background check and all of that kind of information and in email over sometime today. Um, so I will be getting that today and I will be starting on all of that. But you know, a little insurance for myself will be nice to have. And here's my lunch. Yes, I know. I still have the stuff that I need to take out to the trash can because I keep literally forgetting. But I have my salad here. I've got some chicken and chickpeas at the bottom that I heated up a little bit to warm up and some salsa and some salad. And I'm about to dive in and then set up for my interview in a little bit. accessories that I ordered and then we have these heatless curls oh my gosh yes these are really soft okay I was wondering because I've seen like the girls use them and they have like something in the middle like maybe a wire and then there's foam built around that and so it's still kind of like version of this. Well see in this fragrance free. I'm excited. This is a brand that I love for a scout. Through my background, I um, I got a little bit of a later start when I went to college. So I graduated back in 2014 after I got divorced and I would, had my real estate license and I went and worked in property management after you know the collapse of the market. Actually, I got my license in 08, so it was the worst time to get my license. I was a underwriter for Adela Commercial Services, so I wrote un underwrote the loans for all the cars on the lots for dealerships. So why this role? Absolutely. I love that it was different for one. Um, it wasn't something that I've done in the past. Um, also, I felt like it was somewhere where I could bring a lot of my banking and commercial loan experience, as well as my attention to detail and my problem solving mindset, and um, as well as all the years of customer facing experience roles that I've had. I felt like I was going to be able to bring be an asset to the team. Got my microphone! I'm so freaking pumped! I decided to get the Rode microphone. I went for one of the cheaper ones. It's all I can afford right now. But I cannot wait. So excited. And perfect just in time. I'm going to open this. Oh. Just in time because my kitchen needs to be cleaned so bad. I am so excited. <sighs> Hopefully I have everything I need. I was literally just looking up different. Because I bought a little flexible tripod to like take with me for my car cleaning vlog. Stuff like that. Um, but then I was like, I don't know if I really like it. So I was looking at returning it, buying something else. But I first need to see if like this fits on there and stuff like that. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm gagged. I'm gagged. I'm so excited. It comes with like, I don't know. I don't know what this cord is because when I looked at YouTube videos about this, I saw this cord being talked about, but not this little black one. So, I don't know. I'll have to get into all of this. <gasps> Shut up. It comes with its own little dead cat. And then this has the, I don't know if this comes off, but 
the windscreen. Versus the dead cat. I didn't know it came with a dead cat. I don't know why they call them a dead cat other than they look like a dead cat, I guess, because they're flurry. I don't know. Okay, one, two, three. We are connecting the microphone. Okay, microphone is connected. And I hope it's working because honestly, I have no idea if it's working. So I hope so. Oh my goodness. Unfortunately, this mic will not connect to this tripod. And this is the tripod I use for all my cleaning videos because it has this like gooseneck. It, is that what you call it? I don't know. This flexible neck. It's just like so easy and nice to get certain shots. Um, now I'm not gonna lie, the phone does weigh it down so it's not like you can go like that. Like you would think that you can because it ends up going like that. But I still feel like it gets better shots than a lot of other things. So I thought I bought the right adapter to plug it into here um, and be able to slide the cold shoe on. Um, but I need a different adapter, something that's going to go in there. So I have to return the adapter. I hopefully I can keep this microphone. It's working and it's good quality and get a new adapter and try to get this onto there. But for now, I have it on my little like mini tripod that honestly I'm going to end up returning. But the ones that I really want are like $60. And I just can't afford any of that right now. So watching that footage back just on my phone, I don't feel like it's doing anything. I don't feel like it did anything to the sound. I don't know. It's weird because I can go into an app and I can see that it says external mic is connected, but it doesn't say that a Rode microphone is connected. And I don't know if it's because I got one of the cheaper ones or there's something wrong with my phone because remember I told you my like um Apple ID on my phone is grayed out and I haven't gotten it fixed so I'm thinking about going to get that fixed tomorrow hopefully that doesn't mean I need a new iPhone because I literally will not buy one I'm just so frustrated I don't like when things don't go the way I had planned and I'm I know it's because I have control issues i get it it's just so annoying i don't understand even when i connected it over to my ipad it still didn't connect and say road microphone like in the app unconnected it says iphone microphone if i connect it, it just says external microphone and supposedly if when your microphone is connected you have all these like other options that pop up and also, there's a couple other road apps that you're able to use with the microphone, and I can't get this connected. I already sent an email to Rode, like, on their website. I don't, I just don't know if it's because of my Apple ID, or, I mean, I guess so. That could be a problem. I don't really know how that would affect the microphone. I don't know, though. I'm just beyond right now because I just wanted to work and I wanted to clean my kitchen because my kitchen is a wreck and I was waiting to get this mic and I was so excited it's coming in. I was going to just, I thought it was just plug and play and it's supposed to be plug and play. I just don't understand why I'm having the issues. Anyway, I have a video that I can edit and put up. I just didn't edit anything because I thought I was gonna get the microphone and I was gonna use that and I was gonna be so excited and I was gonna be able to use it in my vlogs, but it's, just, it's not working and I'm so annoyed and I could just throw my phone. Anyway, let's get to this email that I gotta do. I cannot be alone in this. When I went to go fill out the application, um, it asked me if they can contact my previous employers. I'm like, okay, yeah, sure, why not? you like, I have no issues. So then I check yes. Well, then it wants like my, my previous supervisor's name, email, phone number, 
and I think their address. They wanted like four things. I know it wanted their name, phone number, and email. I'm like, I don't talk to those managers. In fact, I've kind of been lying in my interviews and not saying that I got laid off because I don't want to sound like I'm a disposable employee. So I've just been telling them, well, I moved to Florida, so I obviously left my job because I couldn't keep it. If I moved, it was remote, I could keep it. But they don't know that. You know, a lot of people got laid off. And apparently after I got laid off and like a bunch of other people got laid off on the same day that I got laid off, when they got laid off, I heard shortly after that that my manager was fed up with all the layoffs and he just left. Maybe he just saw the writing on the wall and thought he was going to be laid off, you know? Um, because basically, I think his entire... Well, not his entire team, but pretty much half of his team was gone. And so they prob- he probably thought eventually they're going to consolidate these teams and I'm going to go. So I don't even know where he went because he lives in California. So, I mean, he was a cool manager. I liked him as a manager. But, like, I never kept up with him. In fact, I've never kept up with any of my managers, so I wouldn't know any of their emails or phone numbers or even if they're still there. Any of my previous employers. So I was like, well, I guess I have to check no because I don't know that information and it said it was required. It wouldn't let me go through. I even emailed the girl and was like, hey, what am I supposed to do? And she's like, you know, give a very HR answer. Well, Phil, do whatever you feel comfortable with. I have to do that. I don't have any of their emails. I would have to literally go on LinkedIn, find them, message them, and hope that they actually have LinkedIn, use it, and respond to my message. They may be like, F her, she left us, and we're not going to respond. Anyway, I'm headed to Target because I submitted a request on Road. The guy said I needed a certain cable, even though I have the cables that are connecting it to my phone. So, I don't know. We're going to go get this cable, and we're going to see if this cable works. And if this cable works, then I can essentially return... I Well, some of the cables came with the mic, so I can't return those. But I can return this other adapter mic, um, adapter cord that I got from Apple's store on Amazon. We're going to see. I just want to make my content and have good quality sound. Like, that's good. That's all I want to do. I could not get what I needed at Target for this new microphone. And I'm kind of confused because it seems like I got the cords that the people on YouTube were telling me to get. So, I don't know. I went ahead and ordered the other cord from the website that was, like, one of their authorized sellers. Um, via their website because you can't just buy it online on their website don't understand um but got the hot cocoa um oreos gonna try those don't know if i've ever had that flavor and i am here for a hot cocoa moment anything hot cocoa sign me up i love the holidays and i'm kind of bummed that i don't think i'm gonna be able to decorate it all because I literally don't have any decorations. When I moved into this whole roommate situation, I had to let go of a lot of things that I had saved up for years and years. I just didn't have any more space. There was nowhere to put it. If you've been following me for a long time, you will know what my old room looked like. And I was literally living out of one room. There was no storage or nothing. Um... And then financially, it just didn't make sense for me to pay for a, an entire storage unit on top of my regular rent for an entire year. So I ended up just having to let go of a lot of stuff. So basically, that's why I'm starting over with everything. Starting over with furniture, starting over with Christmas decor. So really sad about that. I mean, maybe I'll be able to decorate. It might be the week before Christmas. You know, but if I can put a little tree up, I'll be happy. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead home. I have to clean my kitchen regardless. It's an entire disaster and I'm running out of clean dishes. So we're just going to have to suck it up. Use the old mic. I was excited about using the new one. Edit a video. Get it up because I refuse to not have content for the day. 
and I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? Thanks for hanging for this chaotic day. Oh, also, that in-person interview I have tomorrow, I just went ahead and emailed them this afternoon and said, thanks for thinking of me. I did the whole, I used the email that ChatGPT gave me that it was like, basically, thanks for taking the time out to interview me, but I've accepted a role somewhere else. I don't feel like getting out of bed and dealing with all of that. If I don't clean tonight, then I'm going to clean my kitchen in the morning. So regardless, it's got to be cleaned tonight or tomorrow. I kind of would rather get to it tonight. Anyway, let me stop blabbing my mouth off. Go home and do what I need to do. I love y'all and I will see y'all tomorrow. And also, don't forget, let me know if you guys want daily vlogs. Because I've already had someone weigh in and say maybe twice a week. And I'm kind of thinking once a week after this week so let me know what you guys are thinking i love y'all and i will see y'all tomorrow